So my name is Jay, and today we're going to talk a little bit about something that really is a simple, simple thing to start putting together before you, I don't know, go to deployment. So um, I picked a couple of examples, and I'm going to tell you some stories. Uh, but for now, my name is Jay. I work at Microsoft. Before I worked at Microsoft, um, I worked at these companies, and I saw a lot of scale, saw some things happen. Um, also worked at MongoDB, pretty cool place to work. Uh, but I work at Microsoft, and I dig it. So. Um, Checklists are a really simple way of kind of focusing on things that you want to get done, getting done. It's as simple as that. And uh, I like to think about checklists as really uh, some of the easiest ways to build plans. So um, there's this great book uh, called The Checklist Manifesto. And in that book, there's this quote, and I really believe in it. It's, under conditions of complexity, not only are checklists a help, but they are required for success. And think about that for some sort of release plan. So if you think about checklists over the course of your existence, you, you have to think that you've done a bunch of these as you've grown up, as you're going to school. You have to decide, I need to do these things like eat a snack or do your chores, get in bed on time. But eventually, it leads me into this next first story uh, about NASA. Um, and if you're going to go out in space, you better damn well have some checklists put together. And so the first uh, story I really want to tell you is about the shuttle program. Now, here in the United States, we had this really amazing shuttle program for about 40 years. And it took people on these big, giant rockets and launched them into space with all this jet fuel and, uh, I don't know, lots of scientific equipment and a number of different things. So the average trip into outer space well, it was about 6,000 pounds worth of equipment. And everything had to be accounted for. You can't just send a bunch of stuff into space and not be certain on the things that were part of it. And so Troy Mann was a part of the team at NASA that would go ahead and uh, go through these checklists, find the number of different things that they had to happen. And think about the space suit. The suit itself it was weighs about 200 pounds. And every shuttle trip, you had to ensure that there was every item was cataloged, that was dry, was considered working, that you knew where it was. And you had to also prepare for human error and a bunch of different other things, because you don't want to be up here in space and all of a sudden here. Jay, we forgot uh, that one item. Because I don't want to be there and just say, ah, shit, well, I guess I better go back down to Earth and get it. Because that's not going to happen. So the next story is a story that some of you may have heard about. Um, and it has to do with the band Van Halen. Um, everybody know who Van Halen is? Cool. Um, if you don't know who they are, they kind of look like this. And there was a lot of, wow, yeah, and stuff like that going on. And that was Dave's thing. And, and so uh, during their 1982 tour, uh, they had made a decision to put on an elaborate, ridiculous show. And they had a concert writer. And, if you know what a concert writer is, it's a piece of, uh, it's an agreement. It's like a contract between the band and uh, the venue. And it says, these are the things that need to happen for this band to put on an amazing show. So there's been this story that people have circulated over the years about how there was a list that said there's no brown M&Ms allowed in to their, uh, their food. They wanted a whole big bowl of M&Ms, but they wanted no brown ones. The reason why they wanted no brown ones wasn't because they were divas. It was because they had all this other shit going on. And if you didn't read that there were brown M&Ms to be removed from the bowl, you might not have read about all the different things relating to pyro. Um, so what does this got to do with your application? Well, if you got a plan, you need to execute that plan. And it's a smart idea to put together uh, some sort of brown M&M for your deployment. Come up with a way to example uh, a checklist that you know that you're going to always hit every time. Uh, did you check everything into the repo? Are the ports that are supposed to be open for the application open? Uh, are your, is your monitoring and observability configured? All these really simple tasks that sometimes people forget because they're too busy building. So you can use different methods that we already know for software development to execute. So you can use GitHub and create issues. You can use a Kanban board. You can use Jira. You can all, all these different things. So anyhow, that's Rico. He's my best friend. Um, and I want you to all think about making a list, check it twice, and build your own brown M&M into your deploy process.
Thank you very much.